Oh, hey guys, what's up? It's your boy TTT Triple T back again in another video. And this time around, what I'm showing you is a bunch of really high quality knockoffs that I got online from AliExpress from the greatest film of all time, Avengers Infinite War. So let's check this out. First thing we're seeing here is Spider Man. It, yes! This looks to be exactly the same sculpt as the Infinity War Spider-Man with his web tentacles or whatever the heck that's called, except on this guy, he has an LED light. Wow. Yeah, that's my favorite part of Spider-Man's costume. I do dig how he has the, the four holes on the back for those extra spider legs. Sculpt-wise, it's not that Bad. It's not the terrible, it's just that the face isn't that great. Here we go. <laughs> this is Ant-Man from his appearance in Infinite War where his leg kept falling off. <laughs> and yeah, again, this, this sculpt isn't like too terrible. It does have uh, an LED in the chest. But it doesn't even work. The button just straight up doesn't work. And this leg just keeps falling off. Uh, <laughs> this head though, there's actually, I don't know if that's like dirt or or something that, that they got on there in the factory, but it, it looks like it's, they did a wash or something. Sculpt is not bad, paint is not bad. This is actually if his leg didn't fall off right before I was even able to take it out of the packaging. This would be a, a suitable knockoff. Ant-Man, but you know, I have to take points off because that LED light doesn't work. <laughs> Look at that face! Oh my gosh! This is Winter Soldier. This is definitely, definitely his appearance from Infinite War Spider-Man Avenger movie. Uh, you all remember that those great scenes with the LED in his chest when he was wearing that mask, fighting the hordes of creatures from Thanos with his metallic arm. His arm comes like he should be holding a weapon or something, but no, no, this isn't this isn't Hasbro. This isn't an actual toy company that gives you accessories. Uh, you know, you want you want a weapon in his hand? Nah, nah. You get you get LED in the chest, baby. So this isn't that bad, you know. It's still though. Okay, so that's that guy, and now we're going to Captain America. <laughs> All right, can we can we just? Hey guys, can we just take a quick second to appreciate the figure? Those eyes are so good. He comes with a shield, which isn't bad, and then he comes with his vintage Captain America gun. Uh, but the gun is colored blue, because Captain America, of course, needs his blue gun. Hey guys, what more could you ever want from a Captain America figure? I've never seen a greater Captain America figure than this. This is the top 10. Hey guys, welcome to Toy Galaxy's top 10 Captain America figures, and this is number one. Also, I'm not Toy Galaxy, so please, Toy Galaxy, don't sue me. Yo! Whoa! This is this is actually like relatively kind of good for a figure. The, what what the heck is going on there? I don't I don't even want to know what that is. He has wings that actually move. He has that LED light in his chest. He's holding an ice cream cone or some chocolate or something in his hand. Yeah, so yo, yo, knockoff artists. This is not too shabby. The only one that a an LED light in the chest works for it is the tall man himself Iron Man and here is a scale comparison to, just so you can see just how tall Captain America is to Iron Man and yes Iron Man is a giant and of course for the one guy the freaking LED light doesn't actually work but if he's taller than Thanos yo that's gonna be great <laughs> this is definitely uh, McDonald's Happy Meal aesthetic right here, Thanos, and whoa! To be fair, he's uh, he's big, he's purple, he has an LED in his chest. <laughs> what more could you want? But then again, he is shorter than Iron Man. I'm Thanos, man! And up next, it is Hulk, the Incredible Hulk, as you saw him in your favorite movie ever, Avengers Infinite War, and he has an LED in his chest, even though he doesn't wear a shirt for some reason. I can't explain why a shirtless man needs an LED in his chest. And look at this articulation. They gave, they, they gave him double articulated elbow. 
What was the point of that? This was just articulation for articulation's sake on one of these guys. Uh, the head sculpt, though, it actually kind of does capture that Mark Ruffalo, which, which kind of leads me to believe that uh, this is a copy from from Hasbro or something. Oh my gosh, Thor! It's a new <laughs> head. Let me just bask in that glory of that head. Just appreciate that head. Oh my gosh. The artisans that worked on this figure. <laughs> it looks so bad. That head is so small. It does have Majuldaner, which is falling apart. <laughs> this is Thor. Wait, <laughs> look at that face. Oh gosh. That is so terrible. <laughs> This <laughs> cape doesn't even fit in the peg on the back, and it's awful. These toys are just straight up awful. Alright guys, so that was my review. What do you guys think was the best toy around in this video? I'm going to say that it was probably uh, Thor. I think this Thor is very accurate of his presentation from this movie. And, and second up is probably Vision, and then it's probably Captain America with the derp face. So there you go, guys. This is the greatest Avengers uh, unlicensed toys ever created, third party. I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to hit the unsub button if you hated this video.